I'm coming to you from phase one, and I could use some help planning this array. You can see I am right at the cusp of the solar hidden hit direct. So there's these trees here, and uh, without topping the tree, you can see right now I'm producing, um, but the whole entire array is in the in the shade. So when I go to over panel, because right now this is a 10K and that's pretty close to 10K in panels. So I'm thinking right here where that panel is, I'm about to get um, some direct sunlight right here. You can see my shadow. So I can put four panels right there, ballasted, weighted on the bottom, and then I'll just uh, connect them. So as I plan the over paneling, I'd love any feedback on what the you all think. I've got four trackers on my grow watt, so I can do four, and I got to read the manual on how I divide them up or how I can divide them up. But this is just the um, XH, I guess, brand or model. Um, so the rest, I believe, of the overflow is going to be where this is. Pretend those are solar panels. And there'll be a one ballasted on the ground right here. And I'm trying to decide if it's worth it. Right now, I've got two separate strings, high and a low, right here. And then if I have one here and one here, I've used all four. But as the sun comes over the house, right, you get uh, you get some afternoon shade if they were where I'm standing and pointing in this direction. So anyway, I don't know if I'm overthinking it. Probably am, but... Uh, Always fun to get other people's opinions and thoughts because once you start putting it down, it's a lot of labor. So um, I believe I got to wait for one more, one more um, inspection before I can put the ground array in. So I like then. So if it's within the first, I don't know, a couple of weeks of me putting this out, I'd love to hear what you do. And if not, and after that, I will put a link to uh, what I decide and what I'm going to test uh, at the end of the video, at the end card, as they say.